yeah, finance is often, I think, pushed into the realm of masculinity. And in general, I think when a woman comes into money or if she inherits money or if she makes money or if she divorces a man with money, there's always this big social pressure, personal pressure to get into philanthropy. What are your thoughts about crypto? And is it the bad people's way of controlling us? <laughs> oh, <laughs> God. Honest question. Honest question. I really want to know yeah. your thoughts. I mean, I think a lot about crypto. I think my biggest fear is around, you know, the government then coming in. I mean, I know like China is very against Bitcoin and wants to create like the government non-regulated cryptocurrency that they regulate and they monitor all your purchases through. I think that the the intent the intention of governments to regulate crypto is obviously where it's all going. And that's gonna be kind of the battle of what's going on. I do think there's the obvious environmental question around the mining, but then the environmental question around how we power anything is the bigger question to me. I think that the the mining of crypto is a mere consequence of a very intentional and archaic nefarious intention to maintain the status quo when it comes to energy and power. And that's not the fault of crypto. That is just the natural consequences of our powering the grid, you know? So I don't shame crypto for that. I think, you know, obviously there is the fear around, you know, human trafficking and Mm. drugs and, and abuse and murder and, you know, but those things happen regardless of crypto. I just think that crypto kind of gets the blame for Mm -hmm. facilitating a lot of dark actions that have been happening pre-crypto. So Mm -hmm. I I don't think that's necessarily accurate or fair. I just think that, I think I kind of see crypto as neutral and benign. And then a lot of uh, blame gets placed on it because of the circumstance. How do you feel? Love it. No, that's, I mean, I'm in a total agreement. What I do is I call it a tool, right? So yeah, uh, just like anything that is a tool, uh, it can be yielded by somebody that's good. It can be yielded by somebody that's evil. You know, it's all about the intention that they're using that tool for. So yeah, crypto, once you really understand the layers and how it works and how the internet works and how it all comes together, you, you really quickly see that they dug themselves a hole and mm-hmm. we now have a concept. It's about the concept, the blockchain concept yes. that we can now create with. And so to answer all those questions and all those concerns, yes, a hundred million percent, they are going to do that. They are going yeah. to create their own currency. They are going to use it to control and they're going to use it to destroy. Mm-hmm. And so we have to, you know, and, and, and using the, the like, you, like you mentioned, using all the, 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 the uh, facilities and the buildings that already exist that were already built, you know, with, with this destructive mindset and with this like consuming mindset. So, you know, when you're building a new technology, you have to build with what you have. Um, so yes, all those things are real. All those things are being done, but good men are also, you know, using crypto. You, good men are also and creating ladies. and ladies, good men and women. <laughs> yes. A hundred percent. Yes. And non-binaries actually, actually, and all honestly, of them. it's funny because the women are, are sort of leading the, the industry right now a little bit mm. because of, uh, NFTs. They, they took, they kind of shifted, uh, into artists and musicians and mm-hmm. for, for whatever reason, the women were more willing to jump in and go, I'll do this. And so it's actually been taken over by women and which is awesome because it's, it's, it's brought in this whole new flavor into the industry to kind of stir it up a little bit. But, but yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm in total agreement. Uh, it's a tool, it's a tool and we have to yield it. Yeah. Finance is often, I think, pushed into the realm of masculinity. And in general, I think when a woman comes into money or if she inherits money or if she makes money or if she divorces a man with money, there's always this big social pressure, personal pressure to get into philanthropy and to give that money away. I mean, I think it's really interesting what happened with uh, Jeff Bezos's 
wife, you know, right. she's like, I'm going to give this all away. And he's like, I'm going to fucking make 10 times more, you know? And it's like, cool. Okay. But I do think there is something really interesting around the, like there's a, a banking called women's world banking that uh, deals with micro loans to women in developing nations. So basically the theory is, is that when you give money to a woman, it's not just about that woman. It's actually about the community around her because women are um, notoriously or, or, you know, more, um, more, community oriented. And maybe that's because we're programmed and socialized to be, but there is this deep power in giving and, and enabling. I, I hate the word empowerment so much. I hate it because power is not something that I want because power implies hierarchy and power over another. And I really want to break apart this power structure. So the word empowering to me just feels like a tool of the patriarchy to put women in positions that men are occupying. And that to me is not dismantling anything interesting. So I'm definitely trying to like think of the words I'm saying because it's like fuck empowerment. It's so condescending. I just want to, uh, I want to scream when talk about when people talk about empowering women. It makes Let me it so out. enraged. Let it out. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, no, fuck that shit. Yeah. It's like power is the goddamn problem. So, but what I think is interesting about these micro loans to women and the way that women approach money, I don't want women to approach money like the status quo. I want to encourage the way women are more community oriented. And I want men to become more or any non-binary or any gender to become more community oriented. So when money comes to you, it's not like, what does this do for me? But what does this do for those around me? What can I do to to use this as an act of service because that's so much more interesting than just somebody hoarding money like Elon or Jeff or Mark Zuckerberg. This hoarding of capital is um, really boring me. I love that answer. And it's so in alignment with what I've been teaching recently because you're mm. right. You're right. This, this capitalism structure that we've normalized is a very masculine driven society. And naturally it's natural for the, for the, 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 the masculine that leans into, um, what's the, uh, the, the power energy, the King energy too much to create a structure of energy, like a flow of energy as a triangle. So mm -hmm. what does that remind you of? Right. So why? Because you have the base, a large base and that all that power flows up to the tip top to the pyramid. And people think like, Oh, so you have, we have to flip the pyramids. Like, no, no. If you flip the pyramid, it's the same shit. You're just, no, let's have just, a circle. Yeah. Well, so, so what I've come to realize is, Oh, we need, we need a toroidal field of Ooh. movement of energy. And then it's, it's, and it's like a female, it's, it's a, it's a more feminine energy, you know, where you're mm. the, the community is feeding back into itself mm. on all areas. And so there is no triangle. It's not about flipping mm. the triangle or keeping it up. It's about eliminating it. Actually, in my opinion, dissolving it. Right. It's very Absorbing Nikola Tesla it. of you. Yeah. I can't help. <laughs> yeah, I love Nikola mm. Tesla. He had it right. If you want to know mm. the secrets of the universe, think in terms of vibrations, frequencies, and waves, and you will know it all. Um, mm. so yeah, I mean, that's, I, I'm so glad you, you meant, you said all that because that's, that's it. That's it. Once we can start to look at, um, the flow of energy, right? It's all about the flow of energy. It's exchange of energy. Yeah. Once we can start mm -hmm. to look at the flow and exchange of energy as something that can be, um, it can self feed, like you can self feed, mm -hmm. it's not just going out and uh, up and out. You know, so where it's, it's not, it's coming back in. Yeah. It's recycled. That's abundance. Upcycled. That's abundance. Yeah, I love it. Very groovy.